hello and welcome back to the Lights on Data show live here on location. I have the pleasure of sitting here with Michael from Cinch. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm having a fabulous time in Vancouver. Never been before. I'm enjoying the city. Welcome. Very impressed and the food here is spectacular. I agree. I agree. I apologize for the weather today, but I hear tomorrow will be nice again. I got a free umbrella, so I was set. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. So, Michael, I want to learn a little bit more about Cinch. Sure. And here's one. SMSs are a thing, but uh, increasingly they're becoming uh, riskier to use. Mm -hmm. I personally get a lot of spam through them. Correct. But then I also know a lot of companies want to leverage this Correct. form of interaction with the potential customers, with their audiences to reach out to them. Yep. Tell me about Cinch. So Cinch, we're the largest uh, customer communications company in the world. We have a omni-channel solution that allows you to interact with your customers across all channels, email, voice, and our big DNA is in mobile messaging. And one of the largest, and I hate to use the word, but it is true, it's a paradigm shift in customer communications happening right now, and it's called RCS messaging. RCS. Yes, stands for Rich Communication Services. And this is the easiest way to understand it. It is the upgrade to SMS. Mm -hmm. So what we are now uh, able to offer and the carriers uh, through Google are basically transforming what it means to send a message to the standard inbox, SMS inbox. It is now capable for multimedia messages with carousels, uh, with clickable buttons, so it is more of a web and app-like experience. But to your initial point, the question of security and verification and basic customer trust can and has been uh, a potential issue. Uh, yeah. Spam has been a thing in yeah. virtually any uh, customer communication channel, but certainly SMS. RCS now gives the ability to uh, know and send a verified message. So to actually gain access as a brand or an enterprise to the RCS channel, you have to be verified by carriers and by Google so that basically the question of whether the message is actually coming from that brand or enterprise oh, is no longer a question. So it's the sender that's becoming verified? The sender is the becoming the sender is becoming verified so that me as an end user, when I get a message from a brand, you will see a shield in the message. Mm -hmm. And that shield lets you know as an end customer that that message is actually coming from who that message says it is coming from. I mean, now I can see banks are still using it. So the funny thing about financial services, yeah. RCS, yeah. I like to use the Jerry Maguire uh, um, metaphor is that for banks, you had me at verified sender. <laughs> so an I RCS- you say, show me the money. It is show the money as well, <laughs> but it is you had me at verified sender. So not only does it have all the bells and whistles of um, a branded message, so it's no longer a, uh, an anonymous message with an anonymous short code, the message comes from, for example, the bank. The logos of the bank are in the message. The bank branding is in the message. Um, and then the most important thing is that shield, verified sender appears in every outbound message so the end user knows that fraud message is coming from the bank or that security mm -hmm. message mm -hmm. is coming from the bank. Incredible. And then could this also be used for two-factor authentication? 100%. So all of the things where security is a concern, RCS is a big, big, yeah. improvement and upgrade on both the, the technology and the customer experience. Two more questions. Go for it. One, can it be used on any type of a cell phone network or are there some minimal requirements like 5G that needs to be? The place? beautiful thing about RCS, it is now uh, format independent. So RCS used to be an Android only mm -hmm. format. Mm -hmm. um, as of this year, it has now been enabled and is supported by Apple devices mm -hmm. as well. So this is, in using again that overused term, but it is a paradigm shift, this is the largest sea change in what it means to use mobile messaging since the advent of the SMS message itself. As you can tell from the color of my hair, I go back a little bit. I'm old timber in the messaging industry. 20 years ago, I helped found the industry of, what, of using SMS as a marketing or operational uh, channel for customer interaction. RCS is the biggest thing to happen since the actual advent of SMS itself. I can see that. Now, Michael, a vendor that wants to start using your service, this technology, how would they be able to get on with it? They, uh, we are, can use in many different ways. We work directly with brands and enterprises, and so our solutions, both our connectivity, we have an API called the Conversation API, which is an omni-channel API for every messaging channel with one rationalized unified API. 
that does automatic transcription across the different channels for a message. And then we have a, uh, a suite of software solutions for the actual authoring or the creation management and analytics of your programs. All of that is available direct to brands and, and enterprises. We also partner with the biggest MarTech stacks in the world, like uh, Salesforce's, Adobe's, Amarsys, and all of the other uh, great partners we have. We help power uh, the advanced uh, messaging capabilities in those uh, platforms. So whether you have existing solutions or you're looking for something to work directly with us, there's, there is, all of our capabilities are available to solve your business objectives. Beautiful. Thanks so much and looking forward to learning more about you and uh, seeing how this tech will be adopted worldwide. Great, thanks for your time. Thank you as well.